Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Pisces, I am here doing um, a collective love reading for you, okay? This reading is for the collective so um, it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. And thank you Pisces for your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your shares, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, we're growing this thing together. You guys have been on this journey with me. So I'm just grateful that we're not in it alone, right? Right? It's been a tough one, Pisces. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we're, we're rocking it out now. We're doing really well. Um, so anyway, Pisces, the cards that are out are the cards that came out from the memes deck, okay? Um, what I'm seeing is... Uh, I'm feeling like somebody is about to approach you from your past that hasn't changed a bit, okay? Now, here's the thing. You have. <laughs> you have, okay? And you're going to notice this right away. Do you see the purple shirt you've got on here? You're using your intuition, and it just isn't, you're not feeling it anymore, um, you may not even realize that you're going to have that kind of reaction with this person. Um, but they're going to come in fairly immature, not changed at all. All like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I haven't seen you for so long. Uh, I'm empty handed here. You haven't been giving me all, uh, all of your attention. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I mean, just like... It's going to feel immature for you. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Like you're looking at this person like, um, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, you really, ooh, that's a confirmation. You're going to be like, you really haven't changed at all, have you? That's what you're going to be thinking um, in your head. Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. I had to turn my phone off. So, yeah, I feel like this person, when they come in, Pisces, they're going to be like, hey, where where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? Where, where Why can't I get any of your attention anymore? Why can't, why, why aren't you allowing me to suck off your energy anymore? What do you mean? <laughs> they're exactly like they were before. This person has not learned their lessons. Um... Yeah, if anything, they may have gotten more immature, okay? And you're just looking at them like, um, yeah, I'm not feeling it like I used to. You've just outgrown this person, and your intuition is going to be lit. When this person approaches you, I've, you're going to know something's up. Something's just not right. And I feel like they're being too happy and too like, hey, how's it going? La, la, la. And it, it's going to, I feel like you're going to be, you're going to be looking at this person like, uh, you may even be surprised that they've shown up. Like this could just completely catch you off, off guard. Um, but you're going to be leaving the scene. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bye, and it's going to leave this person in tears. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. Um, you've just outgrown this energy, and they're coming across overly, hey, overly like it's a celebration where you've been. And you're going to just see this person as just being immature. You're not going to feel the way you did before. There's something about this that you're going to see that you didn't see before. And once you see it, you're going to know you can't unsee it. You're going to be looking at this person like, what the crap, man? Haven't you changed at all? What? You're still the same? You st you're still wearing that same sweater? Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. That's literally the feeling that I'm getting off of this. But let's whip into the tarot and see what's going on. Divine, what do you have for Pisces? Definitely a person from your past. 
definitely someone who hasn't changed a bit. Somebody who's going to be approaching you um, like, hey, why am I empty handed? Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Mm, yeah, see, they're approaching you. This is somebody, you've outgrown this. This is somebody who walked away from you before. I feel like they offered you their love and they walked away from you, okay, and just kind of left you there, all right? Um, just sort of ghosted you, I feel, and left you like, what the crap is going on, right? Um, now it's a whole new cycle, okay? I feel like this person's coming back around. Their energy's getting whipped back around to you here. But now, after all the effort that you put in into this last cycle, you're ready to start a whole new cycle that's filled with abundance. You've changed. This person has not. That's really what this is about. You've changed, Pisces. And this person, they haven't. Okay? This person's acting like a goofball. Maybe they were always a goofball. They're a goofball still. Okay, just feeling empty handed because you haven't been giving them your attention. <clears throat> yeah, and I feel like you've changed everything about you. Okay, you're, you're not the person that you were before. Your tastes have changed. You've been elevated. You're seeing things clearly. You're using your intuition. You're following a divine path. This could very well be a divine twin path flame soulmate connection, but it doesn't have to be. And I feel like you're going to have a choice to make in love because this person's approaching you. And quite frankly, Pisces, it looks to me like that's still the same old immaturity. Okay. And you're going to, you're going to recognize it this time. All right. This is a good thing. Look at how much growth you've had. You've changed. Your tastes have changed. You, you're, you're now uh, seeing all the red flags. You're using your intuition. You're following a divine path. You're getting messages from the divine. And there, when this person approaches you, you're using your intuition. And your intuition's telling you that you're over it. Yeah. I feel like... You're this person's wish. That's what I'm feeling like here. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a water sign. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're this person's wish fulfillment, but they've hid it, they've hidden it for so long, and they were they were quite smug about it. This is somebody who could have done this with a lot of people. Okay. They approach people. They tell them they want love, then they walk away. One right after another. And I feel like this person's about to re-approach you. They, yeah, wanting to get back together here after you've had a glow up, I feel. With the world card here. You know, and with the world card and the wheel of fortune out here, that wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Pisces. And this cycle is over. Yeah, your person, this person right now from your past, see, the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor. You're about to be very, very abundant. But this person from your past, they're not. Uh, I feel like they've juggled people or they're just very low on their pentacles, out in the cold, not having any money. That's why they're wearing this same sweater. Telling you. They're wearing the same plaid sweater. Okay, uh, and that's the best sweater they have. When they come towards you, I feel like they, um, you know, they put on this best plaid sweater. The rest of their stuff looks like this. They're, they're in bad health. They don't have any money. Um, they put love up on a shelf. They did it with you. They do it with others. And I feel like um, now they're coming in to reunite, and you're like, uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this, this person wants to take control over the situation. They're watching you like a hawk here. 
um, wanting to talk, watching you like a hawk. Could be dealing with the Taurus. This could be a, a father figure. It could even be a boss that I'm talking about. Um, somebody who's usually pretty large and in charge here. Someone who just wants to take control of a situation. This could even be a narcissist because I really see this person collecting hearts like, like this is a game or something. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. I'm really feeling that smug energy and I'm feeling it again off this emperor. Like I feel like they think they can come in and just, you know, swoop you off your feet again. They don't seem to realize that... Uh, while this person had other options, I feel, you were working on yourself. You're in a completely different energy now, Pisces. Yeah, this person, they just want to take control. They're not going to tell you how they feel about you. They're not going to give you any uh, emotional fulfillment. They would just want to take control because you're about to get it a fortune. They're watching you. They can see this. You're about, you're leveling up. You are. And you're going to become very abundant. All eyes are on you. You could even be in the public eye here, seen by a lot of people around the world. Okay? For some of you, showing yourself, being absolutely beautiful, stunning, balanced in your emotions, uh, wrapped in intuition, following a divine path, I mean, you got it going on, Pisces. This person can see it, but they're not in it to love you. They're in it to control what you have coming to you, like all your blessings and your abundant new future. And they haven't changed. They're still the same. Hey, hey. Uh, that's the look that I'm getting off of that person. And you're just like, yeah. I've outgrown it. Yeah, I feel like this was somebody that you may have um, kind of waited on, Pisces, you know. But the, the problem with this person is they left you alone for far too long. Yeah, they did. Because, like I said, Pisces, during that time, you had a glow up. You learned your lessons. You glowed up and you growed up, right? And now you're in a different place, a different state of mind, a different level in your life, and you don't have you don't have time, space, or energy for anybody who's going to be hey like this. You're like, no. Okay? They left you alone for far too long. Kept you um like waiting for them to decide if they wanted you or not. Okay? They never took any action. You probably didn't hear from this person. They were good at that. This person is good at going in and out of energies, collecting love on a freaking shelf and, and, and being smug about it. But during that time, during that time, Pisces, you freaking changed pretty much everything about yourself. And now, even just mentally and emotionally, you're at a you're at a level higher you're no longer really feeling the need to mess with this kind of energy anymore right that's what i'm feeling like so i feel like you're going to you're going to end up leaving this person behind here they're going to be sad but they're not reaching your level of energy anymore Okay, you're just not basically, basically Pisces, when this person comes in to talk to you, you're just not going to be feeling it anymore. And you're going to leave without really being in your emotions, okay? They're the ones who are going to be emotional here. All right, give me one, thank you. Yeah, use your intuition. That's what I was saying. Use your intuition, okay? You'll know what's right for you and what isn't. And if this person isn't sitting right and you know that they haven't changed a freaking bit, okay? That's the same sweater they had freaking 25 years ago or something. Um, 
use your intuition, baby. Know that you deserve way better than that. Uh, you, you're in a different level. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong, wrong with this person, but they're just not for you anymore because of all of your growth, okay? Because you've had a glow up, because you've been spiritually led, because they left you alone too long only to work on you and realize that you deserve better. Yeah. Anyway, Pisces, listen, that's what I've got for this quick little check-in. I do hope this helps, and I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel and help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. Love it. And until next time, Pisces, take care of you, and peace out.